on me. Oh, I'm here early, very early. 9.45, I don't even think Teddy's up yet. Might be, he knows I'm coming because he got my text, but. So I'm gonna set up Stream Deck, get this shit fired up. Yeah, the DX racing chair. What now, bitch? Who's in the chair? I'm in the chair. Oh, gamer. The first change to the glasses. There he is. I've started the vlog <laughs> without you. I'm in here. Did you format the card? Yeah. Did you turn on the mic? Oh, please. <laughs> Come on. No, the mic's on. It's just, uh, it's just dying. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Point the camera so you can see yourself. Then, mic's on. Get the fuck out. I. <laughs> you can't keep doing that to me. Woo. Permafro. Me. Mm. Amnesia, lemon kush. I'm allergic to weed, so I gotta get it off my hands. Some people rip it and then it tears. The key here is just to pinch and pull. And you slowly start to crease. You need to press the marijuana down just a little bit. Pack the whole thing down along the way. Using your thumbs and your index fingers. Looks like my job here is done. An A plus blunt. Creepy. How about I just showed up to your apartment and you're trying out for a role and you're just like dressed up like the Statue of Liberty or something? Yeah, you're fucking weird. Trying to get all this shit organized. We should really organize all this. We should move the computer today. Okay. It's driving me crazy. My feet. Where are we moving it? Out from underneath my feet. Oh, just actually moving the computer. Yeah. I get it. Not the desk, too. I don't know. Where are we moving? Where would we move the desk to? Um, I don't know. Hmm. Either blunt, no. Oh, hell no, it's colder than I thought. <laughs> that's amazing. That's awesome. Let's feel weed dust in my mouth. Look at this. And you know you smoke too much fucking weed. You should, um, you should do your top 10 tonight. Be like, I changed my mind. Just fucking with you. Here's my top 10. Okay, 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 I think I finally got it narrowed down. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna 10. prove my top 10. Everything's for sale except for 10 pairs. Put your fucking money where your mouth is. Top 10 my ass. <coughs> it's every day, bro. Oh shit, how about that whole thing? I don't understand the what The world's really, gonna so watch I you take. I didn't see the video. I, I didn't see it either. I video for obvious reasons. I will say, before you watch, this is graphic. Uh, I think this definitely yeah, marks a moment. your name on his shirt, dog. Huh? Nice. This never, hopefully, happened to anyone on YouTube. This is the part that makes it kind of disrespectful. Yeah. You should cut all of this shit out. You're like, I get if you're clowning before you find the body, like you're saying, oh, it's scary, I'm gonna hide here. But like, then yeah, it doesn't well, seem... Well, then you just have a responsibility as like, the thing is, is he started the video with that somber shit. Yeah. And then the whole time he's like making joke. Like yeah. the whole tone of your day should have changed. Like after, yeah. after yeah. you saw that, I mean, you'd think that you'd be like, you just think you would edit it differently. You know what I mean? You just like, yeah. <clears throat> and it's really hard to take you seriously. Um, yeah, it's hard to believe what you said in the beginning when the uh, so wearing an right alien there. hat. And, mm -hmm. Back up, back up. He's been in here working. I've been in a Logan Paul wormhole. Yep. Damn. Yeah. Look at this, Omar. The computer's not under my feet anymore. Um, are we just not setting up the rest of the well, that, stuff that we that, use? Well, that's going next. Oh, okay. We're doing one step at a time. Okay. We got a little bit of wire management going on. A little better. Let's go back here and zip tie some shit. We're organizing. Got to start 2018 right. We're not going to be on these streets today. <sighs> you look crazy in here. I'm fucking disheveled. I think I want to throw away my couch. It's just so big. Maybe I'll just put it in my room for now and get it out of the living room. I just feel like the living room would be more of a creative space if there was no couch. It like cuts the room in half yeah. and it's not like nice and open. All right, I'm gonna go move the couch, I think. Right now? Maybe. I might, I might put it in my room. I don't know if that works though. 
I don't think that works. Where's it gonna go? What am I gonna do? I just throw it out? That's what if fine. I re what if I regret it? Yeah, I think it'd be a little hasty. But I don't want it in here. So where's my what do I do? I need I'd inflatable spend the couches. Night watching TV on it, really bonding with it, making sure that it's selling. I'll spend a lot of time on the couch. You know what I mean? It's like 2018 is all about switching it up, man. You gotta switch up your feng shui. You know what I'm saying? You can't stay with the same feng shui your whole life. I agree. I don't know. I just think the couch needs to go, honestly. I think this would look much better in here. What do you think, Omar? I mean, you like laying on the couch. I know you do. I don't want it anymore. I'm gonna figure this out. Hey, Omar. Hey. Look at my homie. You look so cool. You look so cool, though. I don't know. It just looks like. Mm. He's like walking, funny. Come here. He's lost his mind. <laughs> he thinks he can fit the couch. Yeah. You don't think so? This door really fucks things up for me. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. I thought I got this. You're fucking tripping. Watch. Headquarters. But we're a little more organized on this side of the room currently. I don't know what this dashiki of green is uh what else we got what you're back what happened to the blunt because look, i'm pissed oh. raising dog and i believe in it is it longer than the piano yeah bitch and i guess i'm into it it's very modern that's what i'm going for it's very modern now look out here so no uh-uh nope got this we like when you pay for sushi dinner. I mean, I'm coming to help you. Unlike a sushi dinner where you just order more bottles of sake. Well, that's how I participate. <laughs> Put the couch in the closet for a little bit. <laughs> so my idea is so I have all those clothes that are like still everywhere, right? This into the closet and then put all the clothes on top of it. And this can just live in the closet for a little bit. Good. Let's play video games for a little bit. We'll figure this out later. Alright. Damn, Teddy used to sell fucking old school. <laughs> nice to have some. R.I.P. Never worn. R.I.P. who? Dusty. I don't know. Hey, what you thinking? You're thinking, he didn't measure twice and cut once. But, you know what? Sometimes you've been doing something long enough. And it fucking works. Nice. Get, get, a, get a roommate in here. Hell yeah. Airbnb. Shared dog. bathroom. Hey, you got me. Hold on. <laughs> Hold my victory. That's a good victory. That's a good compromise. I figured it out. Yeah, you put your couch in your closet. I don't know <laughs> what kind of victory this is. What are you talking about? Put this in here. I'll have my cushions. I'll do my hype beast reviews. Like, hey. Here's a kith hat that has fucking dingleberries all over it. One wash, tight. This is my Hypebeast headquarters. Eat your heart out, just win. <laughs> uh, whew. Spray clean part one. What are you doing with the ottoman? The ottoman will sit in the center of the room as an homage to the couch that once was. A reminder of comfort. Yep. At one point, all of you could sit here. But now, only probably three, maybe yeah. four. Idea stool. When we're arguing, we have to both sit on the idea stool until we're not arguing anymore. I don't know what arguing and ideas has to do with each other, but... It already looks better. I feel better. Are you tired of regular Ultra Boost? Are you looking for a little luxury in your life? <laughs> Welcome to Ultra Boost Lux. You just make our own fake Lux Ultra Boost commercial and do it all black and white. And I'm just like, Lux. And it goes, Lux, Lux, Lux. I just whisper, Lux, Lux, Lux. Let's do and it. And then you get the shoe. Like, Should we shoot the Lux tomorrow? That then? ain't Lux! <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm not doing all that shit. Art. You know, you're left with certain things, certain pieces, certain colors, certain sounds. And it's how you rearrange them. You know? Undead stock. Laces. These come with extra laces because I'm going to lose them in like two seconds. Nice. Like the uppers. Crazy nice. Yeah, I should just cut this off and put my own leather cage on my first custom of 2008. I don't know how to do that. And finally, the house is clean. Done. A little different. We had to bring in the big screen. It's been a long day. Do it. We were gone for how long? Ten minutes. So let's roll up, let's play video games, and then I'll finish this later.
I'm rolled up. All right. Scene five is also weed, so fuck you. Never gonna know what happens. What are you doing? We're not going anywhere. I'm just moving stuff around. So, just got done Twitch streaming. Uh, now I'm gonna finish cleaning my house. Ernie's gone. Getting all this stuff organized and straightened out because I have all these plans for the year. Um, I'm going to obviously make more clothes, but I'm also going to be designing a lot more, tattooing more, and working on paintings more. So uh, I used to paint pretty constantly, like all the time, and I really miss painting. So my idea this year, or goal, is to try to do 12 large paintings. Uh, I don't know how large, but like 12 nice size paintings. So one a month, and then possibly Possibly I'll make limited prints of those and offer them for sale. That's the idea. Uh, I'd like to just sit down and paint every day. You'll be able to see the paintings get built. See the process. I kind of want to change up my creative space and have it like less, I don't know. I just, the couch just drove me crazy today. Okay, so. I'm trying to finish this. I almost burnt the house down now because I went to take trash out and left this pan burning. I came back and the smoke alarm was going off and I had to. I had to get the smoke out. I couldn't grab the camera fast enough and turn the smoke off, so we missed that, but it was not chill. The room is still kind of shambled. Well, no, it's in shambles. I haven't figured all this out yet. But I'm gonna, so yeah. A domestic day of something. Things sometimes take time. Things take time, so. But right now, I've gotta do this on feet. I gotta do the shoe review or I'm gonna run out of time. Well, uh, yeah, today, super domestic cleaning, organized, trying to get everything ready because I've already said it. I need, I got a lot of designing to do, painting, I need space, creative flowness. I'm more thirsty. But yeah, so today was just that. Tomorrow will be a little bit of that. Thursday to go snowboarding. Friday I made tattoo. I'm gonna start being at the shop on Fridays. I'm taking appointments for Fridays, basically starting. So if you wanna get tattooed, uh, you can email me at teddytattooMe at gmail.com. But make sure that it's not like a year away. I can only kind of take people like two months out, a month out, because I don't really know my schedule too crazy. But if you wanna get tattooed, you wanna get in with me, you can email me, we can discuss it. Uh, if Friday doesn't work for you, could try to work it out somehow but yeah I'm kind of available right now I'm gonna be in the shop more that's that and I'll be painting more drawing more doing the stuff that uh I really like to do. speaking of something else I like ultra boost of course um, I did get in the Lux a few days ago we never took a look this is the box so yeah I mean I kind of said I talked about it a little bit about how I, some things I didn't like but here's the shoe it's the ultra boost Lux Started off as a rejected SNS, SNS social status collab. So this was one that they were working on apparently when they were making the other model. Hold. This would be the other model. So we can kind of see how they go together. They have the same pattern which really never came out. It's basically the people were calling it the 3.5 pattern um, because it's different. <laughs> you know, it just looks completely different than 3.0 and it doesn't look how 4.0 ended. And there were a few samples. Ernie even got a sample that looked like this, but was white. So it's kind of an in-between that never really happened. Well, I guess other than these pairs. But yeah, you can kind of see how they're similar. You can tell that they were, they have similarities in their design. Uh, the toe protectant being one, this one, is ATR, but this one is suede. They, they both have leather, they both have some leather hits in the tongue. This one is definitely a different suede than this is just straight up leather. Uh, and then the black pair, the regular pair has a black suede cage, which is the most annoying thing about this pair is that it has a plastic cage. It really just like, it doesn't kill the shoe because I still like the shoe. I think some people thought that I didn't like it because I have um, a critique, but I, I just think that's silly. Like I don't understand why they would put out a Lux, a Lux Ultra Boost and not put a leather cage on it, especially when they put a leather cage on this one. Yeah, so that's the only weird thing. Leather cage is not present and should be, but this is just plastic TPU. I do like this kind of copperish dark cream color. I, the colorway itself, I really like super just like 
It's definitely just a solid cream shoe. I mean, it's just a solid cream upper. This upper is way different. It's just got this sort of, I don't know, the PK on this is just different. It's even different than the, uh, it's even different than the actual release pair. It's a little softer. Knitting's a little looser in the toe, tightens up towards the middle of the shoe. Um, but it's like a super nice, almost like has like a hemp feel to it, not to be funny, but it's just got this kind of raggy, rag type vibe, but it's really comfortable and it's really nice. Leather insoles, which to me, when it has a leather insole, makes it fit true to size to size down you can the insole comes out but that leather makes the 13 basically perfect boost of course dark gray heel cup with the same color ultra boost branding laces they have white they come with an extra set of laces that are cream and gray which match the upper there's a little suede heel tab also this one's not way this one's just nylon i do like the shoe i would say the main thing about it is the color and then just the materials on the upper the nice i don't you know i wish there was like some sort of clarification on the different knits but this is definitely like just a different knit you put it in your feel it in your hands it's just it's artisanal you know what i mean it's like shit reminds me of like butterscotch and granola and grandma's house it's just got that like i don't know i don't know how to describe it any better than that then the you know suede is distressed giving it that just giving it that look you know what i'm saying high class luxury uh, but really it's yeah they just should have taken the k the k should just be different um but yeah really nice ultra boost for 2017 it's clean it's got a clean look to it you could get married in these probably if you wanted to something of that nature check out a museum i mean you can do whatever you want. they have like a little luxurious feel to them the colorway reminds me of that simplistic just kind of fall day breeze, low key high beast shit. I don't know. Consortium pole punch, Adidas on one side, and then these got so dirty already today. This, look at that. This is like already jacked. I don't even know how that happened, but that's a consortium handshake right there with Adidas on the inside. So they flip those. The tag in this shoe is really weird. Like this tag is so different than regular Ultra Boost tags. So that's strange, but they're definitely legit. It's just. A different tag. It's an interesting release. It's almost like it wasn't gonna ever just come out. I wonder how many pairs there are. Can't be that many. There's no stick. There's no photo on the box. No, I don't think it's a must cough for everybody. I'm glad that I got them. I do wish they told a little bit better of a story with it. You know, when they released it, maybe advertise the fact that it was a advertise. It's a canceled consortium release. People would probably react differently. But um, yeah, cool shoe. Glad to have had it. Glad to get it. That's the Lux. If you're interested, I'm sure resale is not that high. And the whole punch is just really make a world of difference i don't know what it is i love the whole punch but that is it that is the lux ultra boost there you have it um i'm gonna get out of here i'm gonna finish all this live stream twitch tonight i'm getting pretty good at PUBG, so um expect some pro gamer footage soon and yeah we'll see you guys tomorrow king kong on sunday tall tees as well return peace